Now, right now, time is running out for people to make that road trip out of the Hurricane uh, Irma's path. Right, and uh, for folks in Sarasota, that is a long trip. People on the barrier islands and mobile homes, RVs, and low-lying areas are under a mandatory evacuation right now. Let's go live to our Amanda Shabari. She's on I-75 near University Parkway in Sarasota County. Good morning, Gail. Those people in those emergency evacuation zones being asked to get out by 8 p.m. tonight. Otherwise, help will not be able to reach them once the storm arrives. On the roadway this morning, we have seen cars packed to the brim at this hour. Things definitely starting to pick up out here. Also, on the roads this morning, we've seen dozens and dozens of tree removal trucks, gas trucks. Also, a lot of power companies making their way to the area. We know all of these things getting in place so that they can be helpful after Irma strikes. In Sarasota County, right now, there is plenty of concern about the devastation a storm surge could bring. Depending on Hurricane Irma's track, Sarasota could hit, see anywhere from 1 to 15 feet of a storm surge. Residents and business owners have spent the last few days batting down the hatches, and even large specialized barriers were installed in front of some condos. You just saw I-75, those people evacuating. Keep in mind, the gas shortage continues to be a problem for all drivers trying to get out of Dodge. We do know that truck drivers are working 10 to 12 hour shifts just to keep up with the demand and Florida State troopers are escorting them in some cases trying to help them deliver that gas even faster to help those drivers on the roadway. And as we join you once again live from the side of I-75 North, I can tell you in the time that we've been out here bringing you guys live updates, the traffic has increased and we expected that as people wake up, we knew that more people would be getting on the roadway, but things are running fairly smoothly. We're not seeing that bumper to bumper traffic that we saw earlier this week. We do know that Governor Rick Scott, he will be here in Sarasota County later on this morning. We will be there also. We will bring you his live address on the impact that Hurricane Irma could have on Florida just after 9 o'clock right here on News Channel 8. Gail, back to you. All right. Thank you, Amanda.